Tartato has always been a city of good thoughts. A university city and a student city. A city with a river. A city of art and culture. But when did Tartato become a smart city? Was it in 1632 when the University of Tartato was founded here? Or was it in 1836 when Wilhelm Struve was the first to measure the distance of a star from Earth? Or was it in 2016 when Tartato launched the Smart End City or the Smart City Project? That was when Tartato had to again think how to evolve as a smart city. The Smart End City Project looks at different aspects of a smart city innovative technology, green solutions, and building a smart community. During the project, 18 Soviet-era apartment buildings were renovated. Khrushchevkas became Smartovkas. Every Smartovka is equipped with solar panels, and every home is smartly ventilated and heated. There is an original artwork on or nearby every building, which has turned the Smart District into a kind of public art gallery. This art project has been introduced in a public art exhibition on the Arch Bridge, but also during many art tours, both for locals and countless numbers of guests. The Smart District is one of the many districts of Tarato that is now illuminated by environmentally friendly LED lights. This work is not finished yet, and every year more and more streets are equipped with smart lighting. If in the winter we need to heat and illuminate, then summers are warm in these parts. Tartato hosts the Baltic State's first district cooling station, which uses river water to cool buildings. The environmentally friendly cooling station, along with a cooling network, keeps public buildings nice and cooled. One of the biggest successes of the Smart End City project is the city-wide bike-sharing system. During its first year of operation, the city bikes traveled a combined 2.5 million kilometers or took more than 60 trips around the world. Thanks to the project, the city bus fleet now consists of only brand new environmentally friendly biogas buses, which together with the bike sharing system have made public transport much more convenient for the people of Tartato. Every new solution raises new questions and new ideas. Can old electric car batteries be used as solar batteries? A solar park was built to find out, and the first results are promising. But a city does not become smart just by using fancy technology and innovative devices. A smart city is born with its smart citizens. From the start of the Smart End City project until the Smart Ofkas were completed, communication with people has been tight, which included housing associations meetings, surveys and information evenings with pancakes. To ensure that residents enjoy their newly renovated homes and understand the inner workings of smart solutions, informational materials were created and different trainings about smart houses and sustainable living were organized. No city becomes smart on its own. A city learns from us, and it's just as smart as the people in it. As a smart conversation partner, Tarato is open to everyone who is interested in smart cities as well.